Ghetto Garage, Wild Card Customs, Mojave Desert, Paint Pimp, Wild Eyed Northern Boy. It's Saturday night. 8.45 You ready? One more time. I gotta block it out tomorrow. Um, let's start off with words of wisdom. There's no substitute for this. You gotta put your ass into it and you gotta do it by hand. My second, there's no substitute. You see this sugar shack? There's no substitute for this. When I was young and naive, I used to think it could be done in the same spot. You know, it can't. The day has come. Um, I think I'm going to sell one of my toys. Because I need a spot to set up a booth. Otherwise, I'm never going to get the results I want. Let's move on. This is what I use. I like it. It's like mud. It's pricey. I see why you guys use HVLP guns. I just use one. And I just used a throwaway brand. Um, because when it starts leaking or a part goes bad, you can't buy replacement parts. I got the guns for free and this is where they end up get some light on this is where they end up but at least I was able to use one what I like about it is, is when I run a pressure pot, even though it's pressure, see these lines are pretty thick, but these fittings right here, they look really big, but once you pull this back, and this slides inside there it's very minimal very so I didn't even use that today I used the HVLP I thought I'd try that because I always have a hard time when I'm spraying this is what I call mud because it comes out thick and you gotta do what they tell you to do you know you like you make two good wet passes 
let it um, flash for 15 minutes. I hit 30 minutes because the temperature is what? 37? Yeah, okay, whatever. It's not 37, it's, it's cold. Anyway, I was wondering, I know you guys probably use a lot of DeVilvis guns, HVLP with the, I call them a top loader. They mean, you know, the paint goes up on top. Um, you guys probably use DeVilvis or SAG, SADA, S-A-G-A. Does anybody out there use a Binks top loader gun for prime? If they do, could you tell me, even if it's not a Binks gun, um, could you tell me what fluid tip you're running? You know, because on that throwaway gun that I just used, um, it worked pretty good. But you know, throwaway guns, you can't rebuild and they drip and they do a lot of other things. And I'm going to purchase the HVLP gun. Can't believe I'm even saying that. But the shoot primer, uh, I'm going to do it because it pressure pot and high build 2k primer um, when I use that with the pressure pot I get so much overspray and what will happen is when I'm shooting my next pass is uh, the overspray is right here and it's already dry because you're running two uh, you know because um, a Bing's 2001 gun you know, it's old technology. Um, I don't like the top loader guns. Don't know if I ever shoot paint and clear with it, but primer, yeah. So I'm going to go on the net tonight and I'm going to look for another, a gun. Um, my bench, it worked out all right. Um, it'll work really nice when I start doing the artwork on it. But uh, I tell you, truthfully, it was a piss poor de design on my part because when you have the tailgate there, this side flips and it falls. So I had to put the table there. If I would have been smarter, I guess I would have took that table and put it dead center in the middle. And I was going to do that. But I get carried away. And I got to stay on focus, and it's hard for me to do it. That's my next thing. And that's got to get done. People are telling me that I should shoot clear on it again. Yeah. You know, you're right. Maybe I'm falling in the same rut as Yukon Rot. Maybe I shouldn't have busted them out so much. I don't know. It's, it's not neither here nor there. Once you say something, you can't take it back. My point being, I like the truck. You know what? That isn't where my heart's at. This is where my heart's at. And I'm not trying to flim flam the truck. But, you know, the truck came in and I was just going to shoot it red and it's going to be quick and it's going to be out the door and I got carried away. But that's my heart. That's what's going to put a smile on Tommy Shoe's face. And I bought that in 05. Ran it one summer. It was silver. I didn't think it was um, drawn enough attention, even though it did. I stripped it down. I drove for four months. Made the primary by hand. Did the gas tank. The strontium grabber. The seat. Whatever. You guys seen it. I just, I guess, maybe I'm just trying to justify my actions. I don't know. Um, you guys know me well enough that um, I don't plan what I say. I just spit out what I feel, what I think. 
You know, and one thing has got to change with me. And I got to stay on track. I don't feel I got a lot of time left. Some people might think that's crazy. That's okay. But there's a couple things that I need to do before my ride's over in life. I got to finish that chop. And I got to set my spray booth up. And I like my chop so much. I mean, the things I have, I'd give away. And my chop is about priority to me as far as materialistic things but that at this point and this time in my life this is what I want I got this I just need to get enough balls to build a building or rent and I don't want to rent because rent is like throwing your money away. And my point being, it's so easy to be here. Because um, everything's paid for. But it ain't what I want. And every time I get ready to shoot or prime paint clear, I get in a real pissy mood. And it's my own fault. Because I know the outcome of my job. I know it's going to be the Mojave Desert. And I'm tired of it. I think I'm going to off my sporty. My purple one. And I think I'm going to off my 92S10 hardtop convertible. I got the coin to set this up. But I don't, I don't like to dig out of savings. Because once you start digging into savings, the money's gone. And then there were a couple of toys that I had that, you know, hey, I don't use that much. You know, I don't think, you know, I got three Harleys. I got that purple sporty and I got the orange beggar and I got the chop. I take the chop over all three and it's, it's not practical. But anyway... Like I was saying, I got I can't not get sidetracked anymore. You know, I haven't even drove this truck on the street. I would off the truck and I don't want to. But if somebody walked up to my door right now and said, you know what, I got some property. I got a building. I got 440 juice hooked up. Come set your booth up, man. Give me your truck. You know what? I don't want to get rid of my truck. But at this point in my life, right now, I'd do it. Because I'm sick and tired of the Mojave Desert. And it's my own problem. Just like I hate blocking. I hate blocking. But you got to block. Otherwise, it's not going to be flat. I hate hand sanding. And I'll try to weasel out of it. And when you weasel out of it, you get just what you put in. Nothing from nothing equals nothing. You put something in, you get something out, and it equals something. You put the time into it and the prep work. Oh, before I get carried away, man, that, that mud hog. Wow, people, I wish you guys would have told me that thing, um... I made more, when I put some mud on here, I made more work than what was there because it got away from me and it started going on an angle, just a, just a gouging, man. Wow. But anyway, it's 14.33. Miss Messy Laura, or whatever her name is, uh, it sounds like you know how to do some body work, girl. I like to see you in action, man. How many times do I have to call your name out before um you gonna do it? Just my opinion. Have a good night. Be good to everybody. Peace.